Hello guys, uh, welcome back for another video. Uh, in this video, uh, let me walk you through how to configure a burp suit with your web browser. Uh, the for demonstration purpose here, I have used a uh, Firefox web browser, but you can use a Google Chrome also, you can use a Brave browser also, you can use a Hedge also. Like it is your convenient. I preferred uh, Firefox because I'm used to uh, use a Firefox a lot, right? Uh, basically, before that, uh, uh, for your information, what is Burp Suit? Burp Suit is a web security tool which will act as a proxy and helps you to capture all the requests and responses sent between the browser and the server, right? So, Burp Suit comes with a three plans: one is enterprise and professional, and one is basic free version. That is community version right let us download a community version right now download uh, you can download it for a linux also if you're a linux user if you're a mac user you can download it for a mac also and if you're a windows user for uh, like in general you can download for windows also based on your configurations download it i have already uh, downloaded it so i will not download it again so it, it comes with a like exe file. If you run it, it will install defaultly with all the configuration. No need of doing any any configuration manually. So let me launch it. Uh, yeah, it's already launched. So okay, I have few history. Let me clear everything. Yeah, this is how it looks. Like sure that, yeah, this is how it looks when you launch it. So, like, let me make another video on explaining the, all the features. But in this, like, let me keep a short and let me explain only about how to connect a web suit with your browser, right? Go to the proxy tool, go for options. Uh, here you can see the listeners. So, this is the proxy where you have to embed your browser with, right? Uh, there are a couple of ways to embed your browser with respect to the proxy of a web suit. Either you can embed manually or either you can embed with uh, in some add-ons, right? So let me show you how it, how it is uh, with uh, manually first. Proxy. In network settings, we have to go and we have to configure here, like in a manual section. But what is the drawback in the sense, whenever we want, again, we have to uh, like, you know, reach out for this section and we have to manually type. When we don't want, again, we have to come here and when we have to rechange the configurations, this is a kind of hectic and we have to do it regularly. So to avoid this, there are, there are a lot of add-ons uh, which made our task easy. One among them are uh, Foxy Proxy, which is really good. Let me install the Foxy Proxy. This is the first one. Let us add to our Firefox. Add it. Let us run it in a incognito also. Yeah. Uh, see, you can see our proxy tab Foxy has added. Let us go to the options. Let us add our uh, listener. Burp. This HTTP and what was the proxy IP? So local host like 127.0.0.1 and what was our port 8080 okay uh let us give some cool color okay i love red okay so we have saved it so now we have to turn on the bug proxy right so you can see here now the our proxy changed to this now if you come here and let us try intercept. See, here uh, it is connected, like proxy is coming, but our browser is failed to uh, verify whether this certificate, I mean, like this proxy is trusted or not because there will be so many uh, like you know mitm proxies like which will uh, uh, you know uh, sniff out your uh, data which i mean like, which will be doing on your browser so for that you have to have a certificate right so you can you can read your firefox detected a potential security threat because this firefox doesn't trust a unknown proxy without like any valid proofs right to make it uh, trust we have to connect 
or we have to embed uh, a certificate of burp suit by downloading it like let us download it let us on the intercept and uh, go to http burp. this is a ca certificate download it now go to again for a settings go to the certificate section this is a certificate section go here import this is our certificate open trust the both now the certificate is embedded and connected now if you run it it will capture all the traffic now it will not show any error see let us launch this also it's not showing any error this is our guys uh you can embed you can see here all the proxies all the requests we have captured here right that's it for uh, this video guys if you have any doubts let me know right uh, see you again in another video bye bye take care